Heyo everyone, it's a Loki Monster here for Talk Like a Pirate Day update. And we have Gunpowder Mary on the bridge. Now this year's collection is um, two class skins as well as some other objects. We'll check that out later. But you can also buy those class skins individually um, as the Doom Pirate and the Doom Ninja. We also have some Pirate vs. Ninja decorations for house decorations and past collections as well as Captain Crisp is returned. So we're gonna show you the Doom Pirate here. I'm not gonna check all these pieces yet. I'll do that when I get to the entire collection. But if you buy them individually, it will cost you 2,500 DC for those. And it did have the requirement that you would have to use the class tokens if bought individually, but that's not true anymore because Clarion just announced that they're going to remove that requirement from all class skins. That would mean free storage with the class trainer NPC. So we're going to check out the Pirate vs. Ninja um, decorations here. Now this is also available in the trade district with um, nails. And we have some fancy pirate boots and some folded fancy pirate clothes, different color ones. A wrinkled one and um, I don't know how messy they think pirates are they just leave all their clothes around apparently um, and we have other things like the fence and we have some little um, salmon bites and rice rolls if you want to make up a little Japanese plate or all kinds of neat stuff the ships, wooden ships railing and some of these are available for gold, some are for the um, uh, blocks, and some are wood, and some are also um, clothing bundles. So you'll be able to craft all of these ones, and um, like I said, they are available with the trade districts. So we have the Red Betty flag, that's very cool, and all kinds of striped flags and there's an ore here and this is the OG piece a million dollar golden skull a million bucks seems a little bit much but that's cool and the stone pillar lantern and I wanted this in but this one is actually DC but it's only 2 DC and that's pretty reasonable and then we have the ship's deck hack hatch and that one's a uh, 5 DC and oh my gosh we have a wooden arch. I, I need this. I'm building Shang Cat Law. <laughs> um, and then we have a straw pirate shelter as well. And all those ones, last ones are DC, but they are reasonably priced. Um, these are not like things that you would probably use tons of. Um, and then we have the Talk Like a Pirate Day Pass collections. And I don't know why that one never says your collection, but you do own that one. Um, and you can check them all, all the items out available in them are no longer available as collections, but the individual pieces are for sale. So we have the Captain Crisp shop as well, and this cursed summoning rune um, spawns a big ship, and um, it drops the Captain Crisp set. Now you can easily get all the pieces from the drop there aren't that many um these do sell for very good gold as well which is unusual for drops and we also have some travel forms and also if you are a guardian you'll be able to do this daily guardian swarthy quest and all you have to do is accept that and turn it in it will cost you five guardian tokens which you can earn by doing the guardian daily boss quest with forts so back to the battle on bridge we're going to check out the housing collection now this collection costs 3000 dc and it has various items in it there are housing items all over <laughs> this update there's some on the island as well and we'll be checking them out but for the collection you can either buy these items for gold and we have some folded pirate outfits i believe those are like pants but you could like use these for other things like you could flatten them and they could be garden stones we have some pirate clothing a couple pirate hats and anyone could buy these for the gold that's no problem and then we have the rough ships paneling 
the wood ship support beam and the wood curve support so if you actually wanted to build a pirate ship you could um my friend skate has um <laughs> she has an awesome one we have a couple crude wooden fences here and we have a ceramic bowl a bamboo steamer that's cool a fancy ship's a wood ship window that's awesome and then we have a larger one here and these kind of look sort of like doom so i wonder if there's going to be a doom ship later there's a small floor torch an iron hanging lantern and i don't see how that's that different from the original iron hanging i'll have to see them side by side a ship's double door a metal grate that's like the other one but it's twice as long um a ship's anchor and well, now we're into the dc items so when you buy the collection you have unlimited access to the dc items well we have a wooden tore uh, that is awesome i like the red ones like that um and the wooden pirate shelter that's cool so oh my gosh that cannon is awesome that is too cool and then we have the legend of losia um the statue now this is the one that you climbed to get the uh, shark puncher title <laughs> that's very cool and and i find the collection is a great value because you're not paying the gold for things and individual prices and i'm going to use a lot of cannons <laughs> so let's check out the talk like a pirate day collection so we have the doom pirate and the doom ninja also available here and each one has a different title so the doom pirate has the fleet of terror um title and um the ninja has the wind of destructions title and the whole collection also has a title and it's really unusual because I don't understand why there's not a chest to unlock here. Um, but the collection comes with two travel forms. First, Squid the Pirate travel form. And why did they stick a stupid hat on that? Um, and Squid the Ninja <laughs> travel form. And they are really cool. They're animations. If you want to buy them individually, they'll cost you 5,000 DC, but since the collection is 6,000, that's a little crazy. There's also pet versions of them for 600 DC. So then we have the Doom Pirate Transformation and um, the Doom Pirate Armor. And I don't like this Doom Pirate set at all. It, and it isn't the design, it's the colors they're muddy and washed out and it's very hard like all the details washed out because the colors are too close to each other um the shoulders are cool um and honestly i like the doom ninja way better um apparently they're bringing out another version of that that belt is awesome um, but you can't buy these pieces individually. You have to buy the entire skin or the collection. And I have to say, this collection costs 6,000 DC. And I have never been more disappointed in a collection ever. Uh, I, I'm not going to buy it in order to show you the class stuff. Because I'm not even sure that I, I want it. I've only got 7,000 DC at the moment, and, uh, and I'd rather have housing stuff, <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, maybe if I have an extra, little extra cash at the beginning of next month before this goes away, I might buy them. Uh, I'm just not sure about that, but I am heading to the Island of Titans, which you can now travel to from the menu. I was going there the long way. <laughs> And there are more housing items here as well as a new quest and a continuation of the storyline depending on which side you're on your story will be different. For the pirates Marty here has a new quest and it is war push and for this one um, you have to defeat 20 ninjas collect 10 creature meat 10 fortification supplies and send troops or build a fortification and for this you'll get 50 provisions a construction kit 
some pirate ale, mercenary bag of coins, and 200 war medals. So that's a nice reward. And you can do this one while you're doing your other ones because there's the creature meat ones and the kill crabs. You can do all three of those at the same time. There's also a continuation of the storyline that you can start just by coming over and talking to Captain Blackthorn, but we're not going to do that today. Um, it's really simple, couple minutes. We have Sally here, and she has the pirate decorations that you can buy with war medals. So we have this jungle torch, and there's a jungle palm tree that's very cool, and an iron cannonball, and a short torch. Now I'm going to let you know that you're going to be able to buy both sides, not only their housing items, but the sets of the... Um, guys now that has been announced don't know where it got announced but I uh, I did find this out later today um, we have some more wrinkled clothing and uh, that's cool and all these will cost you war medals um, so yes we're gonna have to start earning some war medals because that took me 20 hours just to earn almost 5,000 there <laughs> And I'm starting to wonder if this is staying in game and you're going to be able to do these quests and farm um, war medals after the war has been won or lost. Like if this is staying. Oh, that's very cool. A ship's wheel. And then we have the standing banner flag. That is awesome. I absolutely love the designs on these flags. I don't know who designed them, but they are wicked. We have the fleet wall banner and the iron cannon. So that's just a really simple cannon. It's not as nice as the collection one, but... You and then there's the Blackthorn barricade. And it's a little unusual. There's only one barricade here. Um, and a hastily constructed shelter, but you'll see, um, there are two barricades with the ninja, which we're going to hop over right now, too. And, um, then we have the war push quest over there with Kato. So it's exactly the same quest that Marty has for the pirates, for the ninjas instead. And you can earn all of these things. Now, the ninja story is going to be different than the pirate story as well. So Kakisha has the ninja decorations and there's also a jungle palm tree here. I don't not sure if it's the same palm tree. I assume it is cuz jungle torch looks like it's the same. But here we get some different things like they have the coil rope. That seems more like a pirate thing than a ninja thing. Rope ship. I mean, then we have a steam bun that's like a little dumpling, a bamboo steamer with lid. Um, spicy noodle bowl and paper lanterns oh my gosh paper lanterns lights lights of oh, those of you who don't know I have this little thing about lights and we have a short stone post as well as that stone pillar and these are gonna be awesome for my uh, cat Shang Shang cat law and a painted wooden Tory. Oh, that's so cool. I actually build those in Minecraft on my uh, my builds. Um, and then we have the Midori Cage Wall Banner and the Standing Banner. And that is awesome too. Uh, those flags were really well done. We have the Midori Cage Painted Barricade and a regular barricade. So I don't know why... You that one has two, but the pirates only have one, but we also have bamboo, and that is very cool. So that is all for this update. So don't forget to play through the new storyline, earn yourself some extra um, war medals. It's quite a nice chunk of war medals, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye, and if you like my videos, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe.